whatever she said it's whatever she said welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video and of course i have another way to do a review on as y'all can tell by the thumbnail so let's just get right on into it so this is what the wig is looking like this one is from sensational um this is from the butter lace collection i have butter lace unit number one but before we get too involved in this review, I would like to give a huge shout out to samsbeauty.com for sending me this unit to do a review on. Y'all already know it is highly, highly appreciated. So let's just get into what the Butter Lace Unit number one is all about. For people who do not know too much about the Butter Lace units, the details about this is that they have HD lace. Um, it's supposed to be pre pluck wider parting, ear-to-ear -ear lace virtually undetected hd y'all so yeah you can heat this one up from 350 to 400 fahrenheit it has 100 percent premium fiber and the color that i have is money piece hazel one of my favorite colors at this point y'all i love they, they have some great amazing colors to choose from so yeah that's one of my favorites so this is what she is looking like y'all and this one has been out for a while a little controversy about this one y'all so i'm hoping i can get some clarity on this one especially with this color i want to try this color y'all so yeah this is what she's looking like she's feeling really really soft the inside of the wig has the typical construction one comb in the back with the two adjustable draw straps and the two combs in the front and all this lace right here for us to play with the lace is brown so i'm hoping that this match a little bit better with my skin tone even if it don't i know how to fix it but anyway y'all um i'm gonna go ahead and take this one off i did do a review on it if you are interested i will leave the link in the description box below for you to go ahead and check that out and i have been getting more into my makeup y'all thanks to my wig babe y'all got me buying all kind of makeup y'all got me spending money on makeup now and wigs <laughs> y'all y'all not helping me but anyway i will have a tutorial on this eye look right here is not up right now but it will be up probably tomorrow so if you are interested in this eye look that i have created i did use the new palette from juvia's place to wahala too y'all that review is coming up hopefully tomorrow so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put butter number one on and let's just see what she's all about okay y'all and this is what she is looking like immediately on my head y'all i mean this is super super cute i mean i'm here for it y'all i'm here for it i'm here for the color and everything looks like i won't have to do too much work with this y'all so we'll see like i said there was controversy behind this wig this type of wig um let me give y'all a close-up of what she is looking like so of course the parting space looks really really nice i am not ear to ear with this one a little bit of my edges is peeping out on this side and of course on this side so it kind of does go like behind the ear a little bit so my edges are peeping out um the hairline as for the pre location i see we do have some pre location on this one i'm not mad at it not mad at it at all they did some but i am de definitely satisfied with it i don't think i need to go in and pluck nothing y'all know i don't like to pluck well for people who don't know y'all i don't like to pluck nothing um yeah so it's looking good as for the baby hairs they are fine enough for me it looks like it should be easy for me to lay this down so as for big hair friendly i'm not sure about this one y'all because like I told y'all, well, y'all probably don't know. For people who haven't seen any of my videos, I usually try to pull the wig all the way down as far as it go to see if it's going to be big hair friendly. I think this one is probably associated with big heads because I can't go that far. But yeah, me pulling it down, I have a lot of space on my forehead, y'all. I have a big forehead and me pulling it down does help me to see if it's big hair friendly. So yeah, big head associated. So... So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start her up and we're going to talk about all the good, bad, and indifferent at the end of the video. So just keep on watching. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you want to cry, but you never
butter number one. So y'all, she is um, controversial, like I told y'all earlier. And um, I'm about to give y'all my honest, straightforward opinion. I actually do like the wig, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to give it to y'all raw and just be honest and tell the truth. This is really cute to me. I really do like it. I, I had maybe one issue with it. And I'm going to tell y'all that at the end of the video. I'm going to tell y'all my pros first. I have a lot of pros. So, the pros, of course, is the style. I love me a good bob. And this is definitely it. I'm loving the cut of it. Super, super cute. And, y'all, she was kind of easy to apply on my head. I'm not going to even lie. I didn't glue anything down. I just put on my head and put her behind my ears, y'all can see, and laid my babies down and blended the um, the baby hairs into the wig. So, I mean, pretty easy, pretty simple. She lays down super, super flat. Just add my powder. I like the baby hairs. They were thin, so I didn't have to struggle laying them down. Density of the wig is really, really nice. It's normal, not too thick, not too thin. So I really do like that. The color, y'all, like I told y'all earlier, this is one of my favorite colors. From sensational as for the texture of this wig this one is more on the silky side but in my opinion I don't think it's too silky I know a lot of my wig bays like the yakki but y'all I could do either or yakki or silk and like I said this one is not too silky when it's too silky that's when I have a problem with it because it tangles a lot and it just look like baby doll hair which we are not going for so yeah I haven't gotten any tangles at all y'all none whatsoever I haven't gotten any shedding very very little very minimal shedding um really the only thing that i can actually say which was probably the most talked about when this wig first came out was that some of the tracks came out i haven't had any tracks come out at all but i did have one thread that was not threaded quite right i mean i can still feel it it's kind of sticking up but other than that i mean I don't really have any major complaints about the wig y'all so I mean it's super cute to me and I'm definitely here for this style and of course the wig too so yeah I mean she does look a little bit shiny on camera but I don't think she's too shiny she might in my opinion have a, a healthy luster but of course y'all already know how to fix it if y'all have a problem with the shine spray a little bit of dry shampoo baby powder and you're good to go but like I said I really do like the wig and not too many problems for me so okay so let's talk about the price of this unit as for the price you can find this unit on sansvideo.com for $35.99 for the neutral colors and an upcharge of $4 for the specialty colors yeah so that's $39.99 y'all know how I feel about the upcharge <laughs> side eye but anyway yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video please like subscribe and of course comment let me know what y'all think about the butter unit did y'all get it did y'all experience any issues I mean, y'all saw my review, and I mean, I think she's super cute. Y'all know my thoughts. I want to know yours. Let me know what y'all think. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I will see y'all in my next one.